you're ready. Okay. Great, so I'm Dave Koslow, uh, co-founder, chief product officer over at Docsend. And at Docsend, we're dedicated to solving this really annoying, frustrating problem of knowing what happens to your documents after you send them to people. Oftentimes nowadays, what people are doing is you'll send off a PDF attachment in an email and off it goes into a black hole and you've got no idea. If instead you were to go and use a Docsend link and you send that out to someone, we'll tell you who's actually looking at your documents, we'll tell you what they're interested, sort of page by page, and you'll also retain control of that content uh, you can change out the document after you've sent it, and you can also restrict access at any point in time. So control and analytics for your documents. To kind of illustrate um, the, the, the product in action here, I'd love to go through a little bit of an example, if you will. If we can kind of put on our uh, advertising exec hats for just a moment here, I'd like to, uh, to show you uh, an example. So let's dive in here. Uh, we've got a document on Docsend, this is a Super Bowl proposal. Suppose we're an advertising executive and we've got a, an ad slot available for the Super Bowl and uh, we're interested in pitching a handful of, of airlines. So we've got Northwest, United, American, they're all in the consideration set here, but we've got no idea actually who's gonna, who we're gonna be able to do business with. So we send out these personal emails um, and instead of that awful feeling you get when you send something and you wait for that a reminder to come up a week later that tells you, oh, hey, you should get back in touch with that person, you haven't heard back, uh, the feedback loop starts immediately. So just kind of unwinding this, the history here over time, Brian from Pan Am comes in, he's the first to view the document, um, your sales pitch, and it actually turns out, oh man, he's only looked at a quarter of the document and spent seven seconds. It's nothing more than a cursory paste through. So we, don't, we, we know we don't need to spend our time with him. Anne, however, comes in from Eastern Airlines here. She views 100% of the document, spends over two minutes, and actually what we can do is dig through on the page-by-page -page stats here and really get a feel for what content she cares about. Armed with this knowledge, you know exactly what you need to talk about when you get Anne on the phone. And it actually turns out it's looking really good that we'll get Anne on the phone because you can see that she actually forwarded it here to her colleague, George. And you can see because it was from the same link. George also happened to look through 100% of the document, spend over two minutes, it's looking really good. Meanwhile, Lisa came in from Northwest. She spent not even a minute in the doc, so she's kind of looking like Brian right now. It's a waste of time. Lastly, we have Peter come in from Eastern Airlines. He also views 100% of the document, spends over two minutes, and now we know pretty well when we have that meeting, Anne's gonna be there, George is gonna be there, Peter's gonna be there, and we know what exactly we should talk about because of those page-by-page -page stats. So I've talked a lot a bit about uh, the, the kind of links in Docsend. That's a real central component to it. So what happens here in the link creation dialog is you get all these rich settings where you can control whether the viewer is able to download a copy of the original, whether you have an expiration date or passcode protect. Uh, and this allows you to really stay in control as opposed to flinging over uh, PDFs and emails. Let's talk about how to get Docs into Docsend. We plug into all of your favorite cloud storage providers. Um, as you can see here, we've got Box, Dropbox, Google Drive. And you can also update a document at any point after you've sent it. This means if you made a mistake or you need to change something, it's no problem. You just upload a new version and then all of your links are pointing to that new version. I'd also uh, like to dive in real quick to um, let's go right here. So the page-by-page -page stats, we actually go a little bit deeper than just showing you time spent. Um, we'll actually show you for each, for each link that's in the document, we'll also report on clicks on those links. So if you have links out to supplemental materials, you also get a feel at that deeper level of engagement, and so you know what you should talk about when you, when you get that person on the line. I keep referring to this, we're talking about salespeople, we're talking about marketers, and it's also really useful for fundraising and recruiting. Last thing I'd like to show you guys in the 20 seconds remaining is right within the Docsend viewer, we make it possible for your viewers to ask you questions and give you feedback right there. All they do is they put in your message and 
They send it away and you receive an email including the page number that they were on when they sent you that feedback so you've got all the context right there and you can email them and continue that conversation. So that's Docs End in five minutes. Very nice. Hands up high. Oh, very nice. How about online collaboration? If they send a document that needs to have somebody write something on it, how does that work? That's a fantastic question. Um, actually, we view collaboration as quite a different use case. The documents that we have living in Docsend, we kind of regard as your finalized material that you're really using to communicate external to the business. There are lots of amazing solutions out there already for internal collaboration around documents. Google Drive is a wonderful example. Quip is a recent awesome example. Um, and that's just actually a space that we're not playing in. And when we, when, we talk to, when we talk to our users about this, they really do prefer to have two separate systems, one where uh, this is where the production content lives, and that's the stuff that's ready to send. Um, and they're, they're, it's being communicated in PDF. Uh, can it be scaled up to so like thousands of people can view the one document, or is it meant more for like 10, five, 10 people to look at? It, it most certainly can. Um, in terms of the document viewing experience, uh, we've you know, of course, done, gone through great lengths to make sure that it, it renders very quickly uh, and looks great on both web and mobile, on any device. Um, and we accommodate both the one-to-one -one sales-oriented use case uh, as well as a marketing-oriented use case where actually you've got a Docsend link sitting on your website and it's generating new leads for you. So you can control on a per-link basis whether you require v viewers to enter their email address um, or anything like that. It's actually great for, in that, in that case, you know, it's great for powering white papers. It's also, we've got companies using us uh, as, as their recruiting posts online, uh, just with the link, and then they'll get the email address from candidates and they can jump right in. Hi. Oops. Sorry, I can't even see you. Hi, I'm back here. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so that's a really great idea. I think it's um, really excellent for the user. Um, the thing that I guess I have a question about is, oh, sorry, I feel like I'm too loud, um, is the privacy. Okay. Okay, so what if I actually don't want to be tracked? And then also, on top of that, I mean, kind of, it's a second question sort of related. Um, there's a lot of assumptions about what goes on just because you spend longer on a certain page. Sure. I mean, it may actually be the opposite where I kind of fell asleep or was really bored on that page. So then you go into a meeting, you know, thinking that this person was really interested in something and it's a real misinterpretation and I really could have, you know, gotten up, gone to the bathroom, watched TV and then come back because, you know, so how do you actually deal with that? And so, so two questions there. Great. I'll, I'll answer the second one first. Um, so We've gone through great lengths to uh, be smart about detecting when you're not there. So for example, if you go minimize the window, you switch tabs, something like that, we'll pause the tracking. Um, so the numbers won't just artificially inflate. Of course, there's nothing we can do about, you know, if you got up and went to the bathroom, we can't detect that. The system that would be able to detect that would be f incredibly creepy and strange. <laughs> it basically had to do some sort of face tracking. Um, so, but, but when it, you know, going back to the first question that you asked, it's a, it's a wonderful question, and really what we're following here are just current norms around gathering user behavior. It's just like clicking on a link in a marketing email where, of course, that activity is tied together so that people know that you're more interested or not. Um, and, and, and these are just kind of more norms that we, we've really built up over the past handful of years, and this is also a great answer to the question, why hasn't this been done before? Why is the time now? So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a couple questions. Um, one, you, did, you never really talked about your business model, so I thought I'd give you an, an opportunity to talk about your business model, and yeah, then sure. I have a question after that too. Okay. Sure. Um, I'd love to talk to, uh, about the business model. Um, you can uh, go ahead and check out our pricing page on docsend.com/pricing. Docsend That's just right there. Um, but. Basically, the, the, the way that the business model works is um, we're targeting sales professionals uh, right now. And uh, the, the sort of price point marches up as you get your team involved. 
um, to have things like a, a, a centralized document store where you, know, you have the marketing team can come in, they can update content, you can totally say goodbye to the, hey, sales team, please, send, please update your decks with the latest because marketing team will go in, they'll, send, they'll, they'll put the latest in DocSend, and then all of the entire sales team's links will be updated automatically. Um, so we've got team features there, we've got custom branding coming up ahead, we've got CRM integration into Salesforce. Um, so all, pretty much all of the things that you could naturally expect. The marketing use case will also present a really interesting business opportunity for us as we power things like white papers and lead capture and lead scoring on sites. Hi. Um, hey. Oh, <laughs> ah, hi. I've got <laughs> Sorry. A, uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. I've got a technical question. Um, yeah. uh, let's say I, I upload uh, a million of documents on your system. How can I uh, index them and uh, search for them? Sorry, you, you, could you repeat the question? Uh, if I upload uh, a, a huge number of documents okay. on your system, yep. how can I retrieve one of, the, or, of them? As a user of the system? Yes. Oh, so right now we've got search. Um, I very ever so briefly showcased it right here, but um, you know, there's a Super Bowl proposal right there. Um, so it's super snappy. Um, you can basically find anything. We're not indexing the inside, the textual content of the documents just yet, but that's actually an interesting idea and something we would definitely be considering. Hi, how you doing? Great. <laughs> Over here. Uh, sorry, okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a sales professional, I'm interested. You mentioned there are use cases for marketing uh, in which you're doing lead capture, uh, lead gen, and so forth. Um, is there a capability for the recipient to add data for surveys to be attached and have the same analytics capability to see, you know, uh, to, to basically capture that information from the recipient and then parlay it into a CRM, for example? Absolutely. We're actually working on that right now. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're officially out of time. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Nice work, Dave. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And you're going to be hanging out. So yep. if, you, if you want to corner Dave later, he'll be here. Cool. Thanks. Nice.